Hey guys, Adam here. What I have for you today is a software overview on the brand new iPod Nano 6th generation. Of course, this new iPod Nano has a completely different operating system than we've ever seen before. It's basically iOS 4, but you know, it's not called that. And it's a little bit different, so I did want to give a software overview in this video. Plus, it was requested a few times. But yeah, so I was just taking a look at some pictures there, and so let's get into the main home screen. Basically, it looks identical to iOS 4, as you can see here. It does have all these different app icons, except there's no actual apps. These icons are, for example, songs and now playing, uh, photos, settings, uh, artists, genius mixes, and all that. Just things you would expect on normal iPod Nanos in the listings, but in app version. So if you're interested in checking out all the custom app icons, there they are here. And there we go. So there's a few things I did want to go into. First off, let's just go into songs. We'll take a look at the software here. It basically looks the same as it did before. You know, you can scroll through the songs, ex songs except, of course, this is touchscreen. So we'll go into my new favorite song, which I just saw. The Bed Intruder song. I'm sure a lot of you have heard this. It's a really popular YouTube remix of a news uh, segment. And, yeah. Basically, if you tap on here, you will get the iPod controls. If you scroll this way, you will get more controls. You can fast forward, genius mixes, shuffle, and all that. If you keep going, there will be nothing. So you cannot rate the song, but, you know, I don't think any of you really care about that, to be honest. You can also click this little I down there, and you will see what song it is. Oh, I did not notice, actually. You can rate it down there. So I guess if you, did, if you do like to rate your songs, there we go. Going back out, you can simply scroll like this and it goes back to the last screen so pretty simple there and you're back on the home screen so next next off let's go into now playing and it'll simply go into there we will get some other things such as photos where I did load a few of my photos just some various photos from my iPhoto library that I took with my iPhone um, so for example here are some photos I took with my iPhone you can click into one and um, for example it's not going to be actually switching with the accelerometer no idea no idea why but it just doesn't work, so you cannot put it into landscape. But for this picture, it really doesn't matter. And so, you know how Apple described this as a multi-touch touchscreen? Well, it's kind of a multi-touch touchscreen. Well, it is, but it's not implemented into the photo app is what I'm trying to say. So, for example, if you go like that, nothing will happen. You will have to double tap and pan like that. You can also switch like this, um, which I believe is how you do it. I'm not sure if it works on the photo app. Yep, there we go. So you can switch the viewing angle to landscape, except it's, of course, a, a square screen, so it's not really landscape. But you get the point. And let me flip that back. It's a little bit hard to actually switch a screen, and it's kind of annoying at times. And so another implementation of going to the home screen is just hold it, holding down on the screen, and it, that will work as well. Next off, we do have settings where you can look at about music, general, photos, pedometer, and reset settings. So, for example, we can go into about. It show all your songs and stuff as if this was an iPod Touch, but of course it is the iPod Nano. We can go into general, and we can adjust, for example, the brightness. And there we go. Let's go back out. And let's keep looking at the software. We now have artists, radio, genius mixes, podcast on this screen. First off, artists will look like this, simple iPod interface. We have Genius Mixes. I don't have any set up, but you would see any you did set up. We also have the radio, which, of course, we will need to connect the uh, headphones, which I really have not opened yet because I do have other headphones, but you do need to use those to get any FM radio signal. We next have podcasts, which I don't have any as well. I don't really listen to many podcasts. We do have albums, genres, playlists, and clock on this screen. So here's albums, it'll look very simple, and there's the album view right there. We do have genres, so there we go. Scrolling back out, we do have playlists, and I do have a few here, and you can click into them, Genius Playlist as well. We do have clock, which is the normal clock. You can actually set this to, for example, if you do lock the screen like this, you can set it so when you unlock it, it will be at the clock. I do have it set on standard, it will be at a uh, song, as you see there. And it looks like the Bed Intruder song did end, and now it's on the next song. But let's scroll out and go back to where I was, the clock app. So as you see here, there's the clock. And if you do look at the very bottom, you can see that there's a few different pages. We do have the stopwatch, as you see right there. You can start and stop, plus reset and lap. We do have the timer. And what you do not see is an alarm clock because this does not have an external speaker. So this will, of course, not work as an alarm clock. 
So going back out, the last page we do have is composers and fitness. So composers is the different composers we do have. And then we have fitness, which you can use with like Nike Plus and stuff, the pedometer, history, and there we go. So let me show you how this general operating system works, how you can move icons around. So it's basically the same as on iPhones and iPod Touches. You can hold down on an icon and it will jiggle and then you can move it around like that. Very simple. And to stop the jiggling, you simply click the lock button right there and it locks the jiggling. Um, but there we go guys, that's the basic operating system on the iPod Nano 6th generation. If you have any further questions, make sure to leave them in the comment section below. Thanks a lot for watching.